Today we are going to look at finding the intersection of curves, the National Five Essential Skills, Simultaneous Equations, specifically substitution, factorising a quadratic. Intersection of curves. We have already made intersections of lines and parabolas, which focus on equations of tangents. We will now look at how to find the actual points of intersection between curves. The key steps are equating the two curves or lines equations, rearranging and equating to zero, factorising, and you may need to use synthetic division if we must factorise polynomials. Once we have factorised, we need to solve to find the roots. We then substitute each x coordinate into the one of the curves equations to find the y coordinate to obtain the points or points of intersection. Example 1. Find the coordinates of the points of intersection of the cubic y equals x cubed minus 9x squared plus 20x minus 10 and the line y equals negative 3x plus 5. So we're going to substitute the straight line equation y equals negative 3x plus 5 into our cubic function x cubed minus 9x squared plus 20x minus 10. So we're going to replace the y on the left hand side with minus 3x plus 5, make it equal to x cubed minus 9x squared plus 20x minus 10. And then before I rearrange to get everything over to the one side, I'm going to flip everything around so that I have my positive x cubed on the left, minus 9x squared plus 20x minus 10, equal to the straight line, which will now be on the right, negative 3x plus 5. So we next have to move our minus 3x over and I'm going to add it to my 20x to get plus 23x. I will move my positive 5 over and take it away from my minus 10, which will give us minus 15. So we now have an expression x cubed minus 9x squared plus 23x minus 15 equal to 0. So in order to factorise this, because it's a cubic, we have to use synthetic division. And we'll first of all write our coefficients down of 1, minus 9, 23 and minus 15. And we need to guess factors of 15, so I'm going to guess the number 1. So we'll bring the first coefficient down, and that will give me 1 multiplied by 1, which is 1. Negative 9 plus 1 is negative 8. 1 times negative 8 is negative 8. 23 add negative 8 is 15. 1 times 15 is 15. And negative 15 add 15 is 0. So as we have a remainder equal to 0, x equal to 1 is a root. Now if x equal to 1 is a root, the factor that will go with that is x minus 1. And our quotient is x squared minus 8x plus 15. We now um, equate this to 0 and factorise our quadratic to get x minus 3, x minus 5. Therefore the roots are x equal to 1, 3 and 5. Now we were asked for the coordinate points, so I do need to calculate our y coordinates. So when x equals 1, y equals negative 3 multiplied by 1 plus 5. That's putting the number 1 into our straight line equation, and the answer comes out as 2. When x equals 3, again putting 3 into our straight line equation, we get an answer of y equals negative 4. And when x equals 5 y equals negative 10. Therefore, our points of intersection between the line and our cubic function are 1, 2, 3 minus 4 and 5, negative 10. Example 2. The curves y equals negative x squared minus 2x plus 4 and y equals x cubed negative 6x squared plus 12 are shown below. Find the x-coordinates of A, B and C where the curves intersect. We'll first start by substituting our quadratic y equals negative x squared 
minus 2x plus 4 into our cubic um, curve, y equals x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12. So we're going to replace the y on the left hand side with negative x squared minus 2x plus 4 make it equal to x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12. Now again, before I get everything over to the one side, I am going to flip um, everything around and have my positive x cubed on the left. So on the left, I'll now have x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12. And on the right will be my quadratic negative x squared minus 2x plus 4. From there, I want to rearrange it, so I'm going to move my negative x squared over and add it to my negative 6x squared, which will give me negative 5x squared. My minus 2x will come over and it'll be plus 2x. The plus 4 will come over and I will take it away from 12 to give me positive 8. So I now have an expression, x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x plus 8 equal to 0. And again, we have our cubic function, so we have to use synthetic division in order to factorise. So we'll start by writing down our coefficients of 1, minus 5, 2 and 8. Now we'll have to guess factors of 8. So I'm going to first of all try negative 1. So we'll bring the first coefficient down and I'll have negative 1 multiplied by 1, which is negative 1. Negative 5 add negative 1 is negative 6. Negative 1 multiplied by negative 6 is positive 6. 2 plus 6 is 8. Negative 1 multiplied by 8 is negative 8. And 8 add negative 8 will be 0. So as we have a remainder of 0, x equal to negative 1 must be a root. Now the bracket or the factor that goes with this root is x plus 1. And our quotient is x squared minus 6x plus 8. So we'll equate this to 0 and then we'll factorise our quadratic at the back. And we're left with x plus 1, x minus 4 and x minus 2. Therefore, the roots are x equals negative 1, 2 and 4. Now, in this question, we were only asked for the x coordinates of a, b and c. So, a was the first point um, the curves met, which is x equals minus 1. b was the second point at x equals 2. And c was the third and final point at x equals 4. Now, try these examples on your own. Please pause the video. The answers A, 1, 2 and negative 2, negative 10 B, 0, 4, negative 1, 0 and 3, 16 Self-assess your progress Red, amber or green Please bring any problems to class tomorrow. What have we learned today? Today we've looked at the intersection of curves. Key steps are equating the two curves equations, rearranging and equating to zero, factorising, which synthetic division may need to be used to factorise any polynomials. Once we factorise, we solve to find the roots or x coordinates of the point of intersection and then we substitute each x coordinate into one of the curves to obtain the y coordinates. We'll first start by substituting our quadratic y equals negative x squared minus 2x plus 4 into our cubic um, curve y equals x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12. So we're going to replace the y on the left hand side with negative x squared minus 2x plus 4 and make it equal to x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12. Now again, before I get everything over to the one side, I am going to flip um, everything around 
and have my positive x cubed on the left. So on the left, I'll now have x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12. And on the right will be my quadratic, negative x squared minus 2x plus 4. From there, I want to rearrange it. So I'm going to move my negative x squared over and add it to my negative 6x squared, which will give me negative 5x squared. My minus 2x will come over and it'll be plus 2x. The plus 4 will come over and I will take it away from 12 to give me positive 8. So I now have an expression x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x plus 8 equal to 0. And again, we have a cubic function, so we have to use synthetic division in order to factorise. So we'll start by writing down our coefficients of 1, minus 5, 2 and 8. Now we'll have to guess factors of 8. So I'm going to first of all try negative 1. So we'll bring the first coefficient down and I'll have negative 1 multiplied by 1, which is negative 1. Negative 5 add negative 1 is negative 6. Negative 1 multiplied by negative 6 is positive 6. 2 plus 6 is 8. Negative 1 multiplied by 8 is negative 8. And 8 add negative 8 will be 0. So as we have a remainder of 0, x equal to negative 1 must be a root. Now, the bracket or the factor that goes with this root is x plus 1. And our quotient is x squared minus 6x plus 8. So we'll equate this to 0 and then we'll factorise our quadratic at the back. And we're left with x plus 1, x minus 4 and x minus 2. Therefore, the roots are x equals negative 1, 2 and 4. Now, in this question, we were only asked for the x coordinates of a, b, and c. So, a was the first point um, the curves met, which is x equals minus 1. b was the second point at x equals 2. And c was the third and final point at x equals 4.